Hi guys and welcome to this video which is going to be looking at how you can take the mass of a reactant and use that to figure out the mass of the product you will receive. So in an exam you might get a question something like this. It says 12 grams of magnesium reacts with excess oxygen to form magnesium oxide MgO. Calculate the mass of MgO formed and it's worth three marks. Step one is the balanced equation then. So we start off with magnesium, which is Mg. You'll be able to tell that from your periodic table. And it's reacting with oxygen. You need to remember that's diatomic, so O2. The form part means you've got your arrow, and it forms magnesium oxide, which it gives you is MgO. Now, it's usually a good idea to put the state symbols in, um, but it's not massively necessary for this question. So now we need to balance it then. So count up the number of atoms you have on either side. So I have two oxygens and one magnesium on the left, and one magnesium and one oxygen on the right. So let's balance the oxygens then. So I'll put a two in front of MgO and recount. That gives me two oxygens and two magnesiums. Then all I need to do is put a two in front of the magnesium and we're balanced. So you now need to fill in what you know. So we have 12 grams of magnesium, and we need to know how much magnesium oxide we've got. Now the atomic mass will always be given to you in the exam question, as you can see I've put here next to the balanced equation. So the next thing is to work out the molecular mass. So I have two magnesiums, which is 2 times 24, so my MR of magnesium is 48. I need to do the same with the one that I need, which is magnesium oxide. So I've got two magnesiums, and I've got two oxygens, so that's 2 times 24, and 2 times 16, which gives me 48 plus 32. So my MR for magnesium oxide is 80. So to work out the moles then, you need to divide the mass of the compound by the molecular formula. So for magnesium oxide, I have 12 grams, which I need to divide by 48, which gives me 0.25 moles. Now if you can't remember what moles are, there's another video on that, which I can direct you to with the link here. What you need to remember is the moles, as long as you have a balanced equation, is the same on both sides. So if you have 0.25 moles of magnesium, you have 0.25 moles of magnesium oxide, as long as the equation is balanced. Your final step then is to work out the mass of magnesium oxide. So you rearrange your equation. If moles is mass divided by MR, mass is moles times by MR. So I need to take my 80 for my MR and multiply it by my 0.25 moles. So 80 times by 0.25 gives me 20 grams. And that is your final answer. Okay, I'm going to go through one more example with you before we move on to the apply section. And in this question, I'm going to have a look at a slightly simplified way you can work out the answer. So the question asks, what mass of calcium and water are needed to produce 100 grams of calcium hydroxide? Hydrogen is also produced in this reaction. So your very first step is to write out your balanced equation. So we know calcium is Ca, we know water is H2O. It gives us calcium hydroxide, CaOH2, and we know hydrogen is H2. If you can't remember that, just remember it's a gas and it's diatomic. So now we've got to balance it. I'm not going to go through that in detail in this video. Um, if you're not sure, look at the video on balancing equations. So let's put in what we know then. So we know that I've got 100 grams of calcium hydroxide CaOH2. So let's put that in there. And we want to know the total mass of calcium and water. So the next thing is to put in the molecular mass, the MR. So calcium, I've got one of them, so it's 40. So for water then, I've got two hydrogens, so that's two times one, and oxygen I've only got one of, so that's one times oxygen, so that gives me two plus 16 is 18. However, because it's balanced, I've now doubled the equation, so it's 18 times two, which gives me a molecular mass of 36. I need to do the same with calcium hydroxide. So I've got one calcium, that's 40. I've got two times by my one oxygen, so that is two oxygens, so that's 2 times by 16, which is 32. And then I've got two hydrogens, so that gives me 2. Add those together, gives me 74. Now at this stage, if you want to make sure that everything's correct, your best bet is to add up the atomic masses on both sides. So our molecular mass for calcium and water 
are 76 and if you do it for calcium hydroxide and hydrogen that also gives you 76. So if we move on to the simplification bit then which is working out the moles now provided you put this in the right order you need to divide down so 100 divided by 74 and then to work out the mass you multiply up. So let's go back 100 divided by 74 gives me 1.35 we know that's the same all the way across because we have a balanced equation and then I just need to multiply up. So this is showing me mass is moles times by MR. So 1.35 times by 40 gives me 54, and 1.5 times 36 gives me 48.6. Right, let's look at a question then. So this one says, calculate the maximum mass of sodium carbonate, Na2CO3, formed when reacting 40 kilograms of calcium carbonate, CaCO3, with excess sodium chloride. It's worth three marks and they've already given you the balanced equation. So think back to the steps we went through, have a go at the question, pause the video, we'll see how you've done in a minute. Okay, let's go through them. So the very first step then is to put in what you know. So 40 kilograms of calcium carbonate, let's put that below there, and I want to know my sodium carbonate. The second step is to put in the molecular masses for both of them. So calcium carbonate, I have 40 for calcium, 12 for carbon, and 3 times by 16, which is 48 for my oxygen. So I need to add all of those together, and that gives me 100. Then need to do the same with the sodium carbonate. So I have Na2, so that's 2 times 23. 1 times carbon, so that's 1 times 12, and 3 times oxygen again, which is 3 times 16. So that's 46 plus 12 plus 48, and that gives me 106. So I've now got my mass and my MRs in. The next thing I need to do is work out my moles for calcium carbonate, which is 40 divided by 100. So dividing down 40 divided by 100, which gives me 0.4. That is the same all the way across. So I have 0.4 moles of sodium carbonate. So then all I need to do is multiply up. So 0.4 times by 106. And that gives me 42.4 kilograms, which gives me my three marks. Okay, so the review for this section then is calculate the maximum mass of water produced when 15 grams of hydrogen peroxide, H2O2, decomposes to form water and oxygen. So in this one, you'll have to put the balanced equation and then you'll work it out from there. And that ends this video. Hi guys, hopefully you've enjoyed the video. If you have, click the subscribe button down below and visit the website mrbarnstc.com for more.